Okay, so significant progress has been made. We have the ProBias prototype ready to go from the previous video, um, but we need to mock this up and do some testing before we go and build an enclosure and do all the crazy stuff that's gonna take a lot of work. So I've decided to just grab a piece of wood, a piece of jarrah in this case. So we're gonna lay out the output transformers in a configuration that just sort of holds everything in place. I'm sort of thinking something like that. Um, we've got the front plate which is going to hold a spare stacks connector so we've got to drill a hole for that so we can mount it on and i'm thinking we'll just stick that at the front here just so everything's nice and neat why does it need to be neat i don't know because i've got ocd or whatever so <laughs> we'll make it um presentable at the very least and you know we'll have that connector there and that should give us something that we can just move around and do some uh, real testing with without it just falling apart and blowing up my, my ear speakers. So I've got the whole spacing for the, um, the transformers. We're gonna put all this in the mill. We're gonna drill out the holes for the board. We're gonna drill out a 18 mil hole for this so we can mount this on the wood. And we're just going to time lapse it all and see what we end up with. So let's get started. Quick progress update so we've got this as good as i'm going to get it for now all the holes are drilled well except for a couple here i uh, just gave it a quick coating just to make it look a little bit prettier because it's going to be hanging around for a while mounted some feet on the bottom just to elevate it a bit because we're going to have some bolts and things sticking through down here so that's all good we've got the front plate which is going to sort of just sit there Tried to keep it as close to the transformers as possible to minimize how much wiring we've got running across. Ended up using a, um, 
a step drill for this because I'm cheap and I didn't want to go and buy a new hole saw, but it actually turned out to do a really nice finish with this connector, even though I'm not sure these are going to be the final ones we use, but it, um, it seats really nicely. So quite surprised at that and very happy with it, even though it's not, don't really matter at this point, but we may be able to use that for the final iteration of this. I'm not sure. Anyway, so we're going to mount these um, transformers now and get them situated. And I've already done one, just sort of a mock-up, so I know exactly what I'm doing before I do any videoing. But we have to join the two output taps together. Well, technically, they're the inputs because these are reverse compared to how they would normally operate. And there's not a lot of meat on these tapping points. So I was trying to work out the best way to utilize those without using up all the space on there because we're going to put wires and things on there. This was the wiring I was intending to use. And uh, it's a little comical. <laughs> so I don't know if this is going to work. I really wanted to use this wire because it's quite nice, but we really don't need the power handling of this wire. So I've decided, I've had some spare inductors lying around and I decided to use these because they're already enamel coated. It's solid copper wire and we can just sort of um, clean off the end and join it all together. So yeah, we're gonna get this done, get the transformers mounted, get that mounted and we're gonna start wiring up and managing things and getting i just want to get this thing running so let's get started All right, so here we are, um, basically finished. Uh, I know this is a bit overkill and it's a bit too pretty for a prototype, but it's going to be like this for a while, so I wanted to, to do it right. because so we're going to be doing a lot more um, testing and evolving the design. Uh, I couldn't film this part, sorry about that. Things just sort of went wrong, um, but there isn't anything crazy here i've just used that copper wire i mentioned earlier and just sort of extended it straight to this jack and the, the reason i did this i was trying to minimize how much capacitance there is on the output side uh which is why i just end up using this straight copper wire rather than this really um thick stuff 
So yeah, uh, just to give you a quick rundown before we finish this video up. So we've got the ground of each transformer running in to the um, bias supply and that is tapped into the ground for the bias. And then we have the bias coming out, running down to the bias pin here. Um, uh, caveat, I have quickly tested this just to make sure it does work, and it does, but I haven't done any real testing beyond that, so that will come in an upcoming video. Um, yeah, so I've also just put in some strain relief here. That's just to stop the tearing off these um, taps on the transformer, which I'm a little worried about because I don't think they take much to rip off. So that's all good. Got some nice wire here, some nice um, banana plugs so I can um, move it around and we're going to start doing some testing with various amplifiers this is the first one that we're going to be using and then we're going to be using that massive Sony amplifier as well seeing how much power it takes to drive these Lundell transformers because I have no idea at this point but yeah it's um this is going to be a fun fun sort of exploration we're going to test the the bias like different resistances on the bias see if that makes a difference we're going to find out where these transformers break down in the base because most output transformers you know they sort of roll off or they distort in the base region so where can we go with these like how capable are they how much power can we put into them before clipping you know all sorts of things that i'm, I'm really curious to to explore and this is a development platform this isn't just hey here's a converter box i also want to explore Stax headphones and the technology and play around with some things and see see what it's like for myself um yeah so i hope you enjoyed the time lapse we'll um get all this set up i'll just waiting on a couple little bits and pieces to do extra testing with my oscilloscope and uh, we'll come back with a new video and we'll dive down the rabbit hole really, really far. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.